Badla Solar Park in India is the largest solar farm in the world. It is spread across more than 14,000 acres. It is located in the Jodhpur district in Rajasthan, India. Regular sandstorms and hot winds make the area uninhabitable. Temperatures range between 46 and 48 degrees Celsius, or 115 to 118 Fahrenheit. Around 300 people work on site. It has a capacity of 2.245 gigawatts of electricity. One gigawatt can power around 500,000 to 800,000 homes or more. India has the cheapest solar power in the world thanks to low technology and labor costs, as well as low financing and permitting costs. There are already over 30 badla like solar parks being developed across the country. India has a target of producing enough energy to electrify 75 million households by 2022. When it comes to future giga solar farms, Australia is expected to begin building the largest one in the world. It will be built in the Northern Territory, and when completed in 20 2027, it will have a capacity of around 10 gigawatts. The electricity made here will be exported to Singapore through the longest high-voltage undersea power cable in the world. Abu Dhabi is also competing to build the largest solar farm. The project in the Gulf Desert will only have a peak capacity of 2 gigawatts, but will join with another large solar farm in the region. Today, China has more solar energy capacity than any other country in the world. At 250 gigawatts, dozens of solar farms have popped up all over the country. This is part of China's plan to build the world's largest supergrid, which will help China achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. A total of 1,905 gigawatts of solar generation would have to be installed for this goal to be met. To free up space on land, companies have been looking to create solar farms on lakes and on ocean waters. Floating solar farms are up to 16% more efficient than land ones because the water helps keep the solar panels cool, improving their efficiency and extending their life. But they are much more expensive to install and can have a higher risk of being damaged because of rough waters. The Netherlands have begun building the largest sun-tracking solar archipelago in the Andeek Reservoir Lake. It will be made up of 73,500 solar panels across 15 solar islands. These islands will move to make sure the panels are always facing the sun. Then there is a company called Ocean Sun, who have been building floating solar farm prototypes off the coast of Norway, Singapore, and the Philippines, and are currently working on the world's largest floating solar farm in the world, which is being built in South Korea. This 2.1 gigawatt floating solar farm will include more than 5 million solar modules across 30 square kilometers. It is expected to begin operations by 20 2023. Elon Musk and Tesla also have their hand in building large solar farms for businesses, cities, islands, countries, and even a space company, and will be expected to build a solar farm on Mars when the colony begins construction. Over 85% of Puerto Rico was without power after being hit by a hurricane. Starting at the Children's Hospital, Tesla installed 700 solar panels in the parking lot before installing more at 11,000 other sites. On the island of Tao in American Samoa, Tesla built a microgrid. The entire island's energy production was shifted from 100% diesel to 100% solar thanks to the new solar farm. Tesla also have a similar project on the Hawaiian island of Kauai, where they installed 55,000 solar panels. And where you have renewable energy farms using solar or wind turbines, you also need large battery packs to store the collected energy. In 2017, Tesla was behind building the world's largest battery storage system at the time, and they built it in Australia for the Hornsdale Power Reserve in under 90 days. The lithium-ion battery is powered by wind turbines. Back to looking at solar farms, over in China, you will find the second largest solar farm in the world. After just four months of construction, the Qinghai Golmud Solar Park plant has a capacity of 2.2 gigawatts. This is all part of a renewable energy supergrid in the western part of China. It is said that it could be possible to convert the world to 100% renewable energy by 2050, while Elon Musk has said it would take 100 Tesla gigafactories to make the world go completely renewable. And on Mars, the first astronauts will have to use micro-solar farms for their initial power needs, before they are able to turn the carbon dioxide in the air and icy water into fuel. And Elon Musk is already practicing this by having Tesla build the solar farms at his SpaceX Starbase city in Texas. 